This tutorial explains Profus Detection Radar Data Analysis. We'll walk you through a step-by-step -step example, including identifying objects embedded in the structure, understanding embedment depth, improving data visualization, adding drill holes, and generating a report. The first thing we need to do is check out what's in the structure. To obtain a layer-by-layer -layer view of the objects in the scan material, use the Z-Direction Crosshair Slider. Moving the slider to the right increases the depth shown. For clear differentiation of the individual objects, use the Thickness slider to adjust layer thickness. Now we can start improving the scan. In the 2D view, select the Parameter Function button to adjust important settings for data processing. Adjust the concrete parameter to get correct depth scaling. We suggest starting with a value between 6 and 8. To hone in on the correct concrete value, check the round-shaped bubbles in the cross-section view. Try different parameters to see which settings work best for your scan, and once you find the best settings, stick with them for consistent viewing. In this example, we see some clutter in our scan. Our first step in troubleshooting is checking the depth of the end of the back wall. Using the visualization function, we can switch to the raw data setting and gray color scheme to see the end of the wall as a nearly straight line. To improve the scan, we can cut off this back wall reflection. In this example, we would cut it off at 200 millimeters or 8 inches deep. Now we can switch back to the standard data view and blue color scheme. Next, the contrast should be adjusted, but first we need to verify that the cutoff border area checkbox is off. For clearer visualization, apply the object smoothing function. Whenever using object smoothing, the 3D display threshold should be adjusted for the best 3D view. Drill holes can also be added. In this example, we're setting anchor holes for a base plate. Under Annotations, you can use distance markers to measure the distance between anchor holes. In the Comments section, you can add the specifications of the anchor for the base plate.
As a final step, generate a report and export the 3D data model using the extras function.